This video looks at finding outliers in a set of continuous data. The question that we're going to look at is from exercise 4.3 in new QMaths 12a. Specifically, we'll be looking at question 2, part C. The question asks us to find any outliers in the following set of continuous data. For, any, uh, for those with outliers, we need to recalculate the mean with the outliers removed and comment on the results. You can see the list of numbers provided there, 104, 88, 110, and so on all the way through to 115. Take a moment now just to read over that question again and get your head around what we're being asked to do. So in terms of things that we're being asked to do, I've highlighted those here in red. First of all, it says to find any outliers. That's probably our first task, or first main task. And it's in the following set of continuous data provided there. And for those that do have outliers, remembering that this question was given with a number of other sets of data as well, if this set has outliers, we need to recalculate the mean. So that's another thing we need to do. But with the outliers removed, we also need to comment on the results. Commenting on the results will be a matter of just discussing what we find. Recalculating the mean, well, that really means that we need to know the formula for calculating the mean. If you've forgotten that or if you don't know it, make sure to look back through your textbook and see where that is. The other thing that we need to do is find any outliers. So we need a procedure that allows us to find outliers given a set of data. Again, if you're not sure what to do there, have a look back through the textbook and you'll see that there are procedures given in section 4.3 for that particular activity. What you'll find is that there's some key information we need. When we're trying to find outliers, it's important to know whether we have continuous or discrete data. We're told in our question that we have continuous data. So we know what we're doing and we need to follow the procedure that applies for continuous data sets. Taking a look at our textbook, it tells us that when we want to find outliers for continuous data sets, we need to look for values which are more than 2.5 standard deviations away from the mean of the data. So in order to find those outliers, we first need to know what the mean and the standard deviation are. If you've forgotten the formulas for those, take a look back into section 4.1. Jot those down so that we can calculate the value. From section 4.1 in the text, we have that the mean of the data, or x bar, is given by the sum of the x's, or data values, divided by the total number of them. The standard deviation, or sigma, is equal to the square root of the sum of those data points squared, divided by the number of data, minus x bar squared, or the mean squared. So let's look at calculating those. X bar is the sum of the values. We have 104 plus 88 plus 110 plus 99 and so on down the list of numbers to the end where we have 99 and then 115. We need to add up all of those numbers and divide by the total number of data values. Adding those up, we find that there are 18. So n is equal to 18. With our calculators, we find that that's 1,738 divided by 18, which is approximately 96.6, 96.5 recurring. Next, we need the standard deviation. The standard deviation is given by a square root, and we need the sum, not of x's, but of x's squared. So we need 104 squared, plus 88 squared, and so on, through to 99 squared, and 115 squared, all divided by, again, n equal to 18. And then we need to take away the x bar squared. So we could use our rounded value, but it's probably best to go with the exact, remembering that we can get some bad rounding errors when we square. So 1,738 divided by 18 all squared. So again, with our calculators, we find that the sum of the squared x's is 176,334. We need to divide that by 18 in a moment. Take away the square of this value, 9,322.98 approximately. So that is an approximate value. Again, to our calculators, we have approximately the square root of 473.358, 
which is approximately 21.76 for our standard deviation. Now remember that our procedure for finding the outliers tells us that we need to look outside of some bounds. Now the bounds are given by the mean or the average x bar minus 2.5 standard deviations or sigma all the way up to x bar plus 2.5 standard deviations or sigma. So we have 96.6 take away 2.5 times sigma which is 21.76 all the way through to 96.6 plus 2.5 multiplied by 21.76. And again to our calculator, this one's going to be approximately equal to 42.2 and this bound here is approximately equal to 150.99. So what we're looking for is values in our original data set which are less than 42.2 and greater than 150.99. Now there's only two of those values and those values are 40 and 156. So we have the outliers of 40 and 156. Now continuing on with the question, we were asked to look at what is the new mean when the outliers are removed. So it's essentially the same calculation. I'm going to call it x bar with a little r, meaning removed outliers. And it's still the sum of the x's, but we need to remember that we don't include those two outlier values. So don't include the 40 or the 156. And we notice that we do have a different n value on the bottom, nr, again meaning with the outliers removed. So nr will be the original n value which was 18, take away the number of outliers which is 2, so we should have 16 on the bottom there. So we do that in the same way. So we have 104, plus 88, and so on down the line. But remember, not 40, so I'm going to cross that one out. And again, not 156, so I'll cross that one out. All the way down to 99 and 115. We're going to divide by the new n, n value, which is 16. And going to our calculator, we find that that's approximately 96.4. So the new mean is 96.4. So to answer the question for the continuous data 104, 88, 110, and so on down this list, the values 40 and 156 can be considered outliers. The original mean was 96.6, and the new mean with outliers removed is 96.4. So in comparison, removing the two outliers has changed the average slightly down by 0.2.